Yeah, and really think about it, the next time we'll we'll see a lightsaber is going to be like the Ahsoka stuff. So we're going to have different right. people kind of working on that, still using the same sort of volume and everything. But like that is something they got to think about. Is like con- how how are we all going to? But we saw Ahsoka use lightsabers in. Oh no, it's mean we're going to go back to it after we've seen Kenobi. Know. You know what I mean? Like so we're it, gonna. It's and yeah, it, it's just different yeah. production teams too. So it's like. Right. Dave Filoni's like still like, no, we're doing it the old way. Yeah. And then here they're like, hey, we're, we get this new way. We're going to gonna try something different. Because a lot of these directors, this is something interesting. Because I also, I think it was um, David as well also said in that he said, Deborah Chow, you know, sat down, went over script with Dave Filoni, was trying to be very yeah. sensitive to the character and all this kind of stuff. Because I think you can even say, though, overall, like the spirit of like you and Hayden being in it is, they is, is really cool. It. Yeah, they, they crushed it. I, I think the there's cool stuff with Leia. Like, like okay, even David says that bit, like, He's right. That like, had you have implanted some memories or given her a thought of right. Padme, whoa, that would have tied in majorly. Yeah. But the words, so the, the, it's almost like they're they're almost there because like the words that he uses that Kenobi yeah. gives to Leia are the words that she uses to Luke in return. Yes, it's the very words that she says. So that was given to her as a gift by. I mean, Obi Wan gave them a gift, but then says that like. You know, your mother gave you these gifts, and then your father gave you these gifts, which is which is re- which is really cool. And it's like they're like ninety percent of the way there, but like the home run would be what David said. Would I know. Be to, you know, kind of do that. So I guess, anyways, my my point is that like Deborah, though, uh, as, as 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 good as this is, and as good as some of the writing, you know, is whether you like it, whether you don't, they bring different styles to Star Wars. Right. Like Ryan Johnson's style is. I don't. I don't even mean like the the writing or whatever. Like the cinematography of it is so different from JJ's. J, yeah. Like you can tell a JJ movie versus like a Ryan Johnson movie. You can just right. tell. So that's what's been. That's also been something for Star Wars fans to get used to, right? Because you have George Lucas movies. Yeah, and you know, you know, like right. I would. This is. I think this is the other thing too. Is it's, in a way, it's a problem for Star Wars, and in, but at the same time, it's a good thing. Is that like the stuff that Filoni does is so similar to the stuff that George does where you almost, it doesn't feel like it skips a beat at all. Mm -hmm. Like Clone Wars, Rebels, Mandalorian and Boba Fett all use like, like even though the music is different in Mandalorian and Boba Fett, it felt more re like closer to star Wars than honestly the music in Obi-Wan did, even though John Williams did it Mm -hmm. because every, it felt like they were getting close. Like rogue one uses like, if you listen to like the main Rogue One theme, it's like the first like handful of notes of the Star Wars theme, but then it goes into its own thing. Yeah. yeah. Whereas this felt like it was like, I don't know, like even the score, like Jordan or, you know. Uh, yeah, Jordan. Who, yeah, yeah. Jordan who comments a lot, like he's yeah, yeah. like a big music, like he's does music production and stuff like that. Right, That's his right. thing. And he sort of was like, yeah, you can tell it's kind of different. Um, right. But so I guess maybe one of the problems with Star Wars is that because the next sort of biggest outside of like the main series star wars thing is like what dave filoni has done and so it's like pretty much you know just a cartoon version except that's identical to what george did so it makes everything else that's not that Mm -hmm. feel even more weird because like your next step off george is filoni who's basically doing the exact same thing or make the same feel and everything right because like you know we watched visions and Visions is like, hey, here's eight different direct, here's eight totally different projects, right? In an anime style, that all do something. So we liked some, yeah. and we like, and we didn't. And some people liked some, and some did. Yeah, that's a good point though. Like that. Um, so Dave Filoni has been, you know, he's been around George Lucas, right? He right. has the, the proximity to him, knows what he says, knows how he does stuff, knows what his agenda is, right? He's been in meetings with him and right. stuff. So then you, the further you get away from him. The, the the more it's going to be like you those people then have to go back and really do a lot more effort like Deborah Chow would have to do a whole lot more to kind of go figure out what is a George Lucas film right. or movie and what, what does he really do for, that's why she brings in Dave Filoni right right but the further you get away from that chain you know what I mean if, if somebody then goes to Deborah and says feels. yeah if somebody then goes to Deborah and says hey Deborah so what you worked with Dave Filoni he worked with George Lucas how does that kind of right you know what I mean you're it, playing it, telephone yeah you start to get like things get sort of lost or whatever and that's where you've got to be you know and again it's it's going to happen because george is not gonna be around you know forever he still kind of comes in and looks at stuff and says right. this or says that and puts his little splash in there if he wants but like and dave filoni's still in it but yeah as, as the more you do this is why that like the taiki the taika wa, watiti like film right. could be he doesn't know what he's gonna do with it or whatever he said but he, like he he's he said he's like he's barely even like yeah, writing he, it right now he's yeah, still he's finishing up thor and stuff like that yeah. right 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 